Every year around this time, Taipei's Wanhua District plays host to the Qingshan King Festival, one of three major religious ceremonies in the city. This year, the three-day temple festival will start on November 24th. To attract younger participants, the General Association of Chinese Culture will hold a music festival and street market in the area on November 20th. Folk deities strut to the backdrop of traditional music. It's a preview of upcoming festivities at Bangka Qingshan Temple in Taipei. As before, on the weekend before the temple processions, there will be a market and music in the format of a fair. We're hoping to draw more young people into the old quarter. After negotiating with various parties in the Taipei city government, we decided to return to the roots of the tradition. That is to say, there will be processions both at night and during the day. We'll have to wrap up the parades before midnight and we won't set any firecrackers off after midnight to reduce noise. There will be two nighttime processions on November 24th and 25th and a grand daytime parade on November 26th. Members of prominent temples in Wanhua, Yunling and Miaoli will march in the parades and pray for peace and prosperity. Alongside the religious activities, Wanhua will host the Roar Now Banka Festival. Twelve musicians will perform in front of the temple the evening of November 20th to appeal to local youth. Ahead of the festivities, the Banka Qingshan Temple announced that it was donating an ambulance to Jiayi County. County Commissioner Ong Zhang Liang attended the donation ceremony. This ambulance will service several villages and townships. It will service Minxiong, Xingang, Shiko, as well as Dalin. I am very grateful for this. Today, us here will drive back to Jiayi in this ambulance after the event. The temple said the donation was in honor of the Qingshan King as thanks for protecting poultry farmers in Jiayi.